So a big part of this is to promote collaboration between IT admins and end users. A lot of times IT admins, yes, you have the authority to make some executive decisions when it comes to what should be done with a team or group, but ideally you don't really know. So using our tool, you are able to kind of get an overview of what's happening and then reach out to owners to kind of encourage them to take ownership of what's happening with their teams and groups. So with our recent release of provisioning, we've also released a, a bit of a beefed up uh, end user app. So what this allows your end users to do is not just, um, you know, use a template to create a team. And of course, these templates are preset by your IT admins, but you are also able to make decisions with regards to the what should happen when a team reaches the company's inactivity threshold. If you are automating policies like um, sensitivity and purpose tags, we can reach out to team owners to have them apply those. And we're also able to communicate with them so they're able to do their um, reviews for any externally shared links or any external guests, right? So first and foremost, what you need to do as an IT admin is consent to the app on your tenant so your end users have access to it. Previously, what they were seeing was a chatbot message, which would you know tell them what actions they need to take and they can go in there and do it. You do also have the option of using an email to communicate with your, with, uh, your end users. And while the email gives you the ability to customize what you're saying to them, kind of identify who needs their help, not just Suregate, because face it, your end users may not necessarily know who Suregate is, but uh, you can add a message, you know, this is Yan from support and we need your help with this, that or the other. The chatbot, however, has um, a higher response rate because it's right there in their face, is harder to ignore when they log into Teams. So I wanna show you, first of all, how you can automate some of the policies that would trigger requests that go out to your end users. And then I'll show you what the app looks like for the actual end users, right? So hopefully everyone is familiar with our management dashboard, what that looks like. So here, I'm just gonna clear some filters because I wanted to make sure that there were actual messages that I can show you. So this is the landing page for when you log in. And if you want to automate policies that would reach out to any of your end users under settings, you just go to policies and we can look at inactivity detection. You set your threshold. By default, we have 90 days. You can go up as high as 999, I believe. But you set that according to your company's needs and you toggle this on to automate the policy. So whenever a team has no activity for the desired cadence, it'll reach out to those end users, right? And here, we're gonna select that we want to communicate with them via chatbot as opposed to email, right? And you can do the same thing for purpose tags, simply toggle it on. And when, the thresholds are reached, we will reach out to the end users. You don't have to come in here and do anything else, right? So now let's take a look at what that looks like for the end user. So this is our end user app. And when they log in here, well not log in, but when they log into Teams and they click on the little ShareGate icon, it takes them to this homepage. So just like with the, um, ShareGate management, it gives an overview in one place. They can see all of the teams that they own as well as the teams that they're members of. And they're able to you know, search by name, they're able to search by team members and things and get that information there. But what we wanna focus on is that collaboration, right? So if you move over to the chat, you're able to see any communication that has come out from ShareGate on behalf of the IT admins. So just for the purpose of this demo, I, want, I sent out request here for this team owner to look at uh, adding sensitivity tags or purpose tags to their teams, to their existing teams. So they come here, they've got the message and they can just click on select, right? So if we wanna call this one internal project, right? So we've done that. They've got another one that they wanna look at. We're gonna call this one office location, right? And they can just go through 
And just like with your regular messages, it'll show you when you have a new message, right? And it says here, you know, your response was sent to the app. So now as the team owner, you don't need to take any additional action. Automatically what they choose is applied to the team. And this kind of works to, to set up things like um, if teams that are under external project are, they should be inactive, like inactivity for a team under external project should be 45 days as opposed to 90 days. They'll get a notification in 45 days that nothing's been happening this in this team and let us know whether or not they'd like to keep the lead or, or uh, archive it, depending on what you guys have set up. 